How the Richest CEOs Travel Traveling can be tedious because you have to plan ahead of time to catch your flight. And if you have any problems while on the plane, train, or bus, you just have to put up with it and wait until the journey is over. But what if you were Richie Rich Rich? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the five richest CEOs travels. What if you were the CEO of a company or one of the world's wealthiest CEOs? Well, I know what you would like because I fantasize about it myself. Plus, I did some research on the world's wealthiest CEOs and the bottom line of their travel itinerary is that they don't catch a plane. The plane catches them. Sure, they might have to deal with some CO2 emissions on their conscience, but it's nothing that money can't fix with some charity environmental lectures and books. And uh, people who say money can't solve everything, well, I'm looking at you, William Henry Gates III. Number five, Warren Buffett. When he was younger and working as a newspaper boy, he used a bicycle to get around. Being immortal like the queen has its advantages and Warren Buffett took advantage of them to make some long-term investments that paid off. He is now the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and has a net worth of $98 billion, making him the fifth richest CEO in the world. Berkshire Hathaway is the world's largest conglomerate, and one of the subsidiaries is NetJets, the world's largest private jet operator. This company sells part ownership of business jets to wealthy individuals in order to reduce the unnecessary expenses that come with owning a private jet while maintaining the efficiency and comfort of travel. Essentially, it's an Uber Airbnb for the wealthy. Warren Buffett, who had previously criticized the practice, recently converted to private jet travel and purchased a Bombardier Challenger for himself, naming it the Indefensible to show that he meant what he was saying. Eventually, he realized that he needed this mode of transportation and changed the name to Indispensable. The Challenger 600 has a luxurious cabin that can seat 9 to 19 passengers. The cabin is 8.2 feet wide, 6.1 feet high, and 28.3 feet long. The plane also has 115 cubic feet of baggage space. What's really cool is that the Challenger has extremely low noise and vibration levels. Mr. Buffett spends most of his time in the air and claims to only drive about 3,000 miles per day. To put that in perspective, the average elderly American male drives over 10,000 miles per year, so it's not surprising that he travels in his 2014 Cadillac XTS, which would cost around $20,000 today. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg We moved away from the ways of the sages to our youngest and wealthiest CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. You may know him as the founder and CEO of Facebook. He is the father of all social media influencers and has been named one of Times' top 100 most influential people in 2019. He's currently worth $110 billion. And if you think he doesn't spend much because he wears the same great t-shirt almost all the time, think again. Those t-shirts are custom made by Bruno Cusanelli and cost around $400 each, and the same goes for his shoes. Mr. Zuckerberg does not own a private jet like the rest of our richest CEOs. Instead, Facebook handles his travel expenses on charter services, such as they handle other things like his security. In 2020, the year we were all supposed to stay home, Facebook spent around $25 million on charter services for Zuckerberg on the road. Zuckerberg drives a modest car, such as a Volkswagen GTI and a Honda Fit, which would cost around $60,000 if purchased separately. But if you think that's it, you haven't been paying attention because he also owns a Panjani Hoira, which is worth $3 million, 50 times as much as the other cars combined. Number 3. Bernard Arnault After surpassing Zara's Amancio Gortega in 2018, Bernard Arnault is the richest person in France, Europe, and fashion. He was the richest man in the world on two separate occasions, when he overtook you-know-who in 2019 and 2020. Mr. Arnault is the CEO of LVMH, a multinational conglomerate that deals with luxury goods such as wines, watches, spirits, perfumes, cosmetics, and more. He is worth $123 billion, making him one of only four billionaires in the world. It's no surprise then that he spent $54 million on a Dassault Falcon 7X business jet with Bernard. It's all about the finer things in life, including his French-made aircraft. The cabin is 6.3 feet tall and spacious, with three different seating zones that can accommodate up to 19 passengers. The Dassault Falcon 7X has three engines, is the first business jet with fly-by-wire technology, 
and has a range of 6,000 nautical miles, allowing Bernard Arnault to travel from the LVMH headquarters in Paris to Tokyo without stopping. Mr. Arnault also owns a 333-meter yacht called Symphony, which has a six-foot swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and a cinema. This yacht costs $150 million and has an annual operating cost of $10 to $15 million. Number two, Elon Musk. With a net worth of $160 billion, this guy kicked off 2021 with a bang when he beat Jeff Bezos to the title of richest person in the world on January 7th. He is now the second richest person and the second richest CEO on our list. He is the founder and CEO of SpaceX. Elon Musk, co-founder of Neuralink and The Boring Company, is a genius and eccentric. It's hard to tell if it all gets to him because he is a very down-to-earth guy who has it all pretty much together aside from naming his kids after Google recommended passwords. He recently moved from California to Texas to focus on the SpaceX Starship project and other duties. However, because both Tesla and SpaceX are based in California, Mr. Musk still has to commute to the Golden State and other locations, and he does so in style with two private jets, the Gulfstream G550 and the Gulfstream G650ER. The Gulfstream G650ER is larger, faster, and has a longer range, and was awarded a Collider Trophy for strengthening business aviation. Both business jets can carry up to 18 passengers in their cabins. Elon Musk's planes, on the other hand, have been customized to different configurations that suit his taste and comfort, including handcrafted chairs, Wi-Fi, and four different areas for dining, working, and relaxing. The G650ER cost a whopping $70 million, while the G550 cost around $61 million. On the ground, Elon is mostly seen driving his more comfortable Tesla Model S, which costs up to $140,000. And when he's with his kids, he uses the all-wheel drive Tesla Model X, which costs up to $110,000. Sure, they're his cars, but that's still a lot of money. Number one, Jeff Bezos. The richest CEO in the world is the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. The company has stated that he will be stepping down as the CEO of the company in the second half of 2021 and will be replaced by Andy Jassy Bezos. Bezos has a current net worth of $181 billion and was the first man to have a net worth of $200 billion briefly in December of 2020. The richest man in modern history and his greatest achievement, the greatest comeback from a divorce. That's great and all, but when his Warner Brothers realizes that he's also the perfect cast for Lex Luthor and kicks Jesse Eisenberg back to the social network. Anyway, Bezos flies in style with Gulfstream G650ER, to be precise, but unlike Elon Musk, who has one, he has two G650ERs, which cost about $150 million anyway. It's no surprise that billionaires like Elon Musk, Larry Ellison, and Jeff Bezos before the G650ER. The aircraft has several speed records and an aviation award in its class, and as I mentioned earlier, it has four different room spaces and large comfortable chairs that walk around the space and large windows that let in natural light and make the space look even bigger. When Jeff Bezos decides to come down to earth with mortals, he can be seen in his Pininfarina Sergio and many other expensive cars. And that's all for today, guys. Enlighten us with your thoughts. Share in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And thank you for watching.